What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a comparison between two different solid state drive enclosures. With hard drive space at a minimum, we need to find the best solution to give us the most speed. So for this comparison, we're taking the Inatec FE 2007 and we're taking it up against the Sabrenth EC UK 3B. Both enclosures both support USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, but for this comparison we will be using the USB 3.0 off of my MacBook Pro. Also, we're going to be using a PNY 480 gig solid state drive for the drive that we're testing the speed on. Now a little bit about each enclosure. The Inatec features an easy access case and it also has three USB 3 slots on the front of the enclosure, which is nice because more than likely this enclosure is going to be sitting on your desk, which now you have a USB hub. And those of us that are Apple fans, well, you know the story. Next we have the Sabrent. And the Sabrent is a pretty simple enclosure. There's nothing special to it. There's no bells and whistles. However, it does come with this nice rubber shock absorbent case that you get to put around the drive, which will protect it when you're throwing it in your bag. Maybe you're throwing it on top of your desk, whatever you're doing with it. You won't have to worry about any of your data going corrupt. When it comes to size, they're both pretty comparable. The Inatec is about an inch longer than the Sabrent. The Inatec is roughly about the length of my hand, but Definitely no issue, I would say, with size. They're definitely portable. You could throw them in a backpack, you could fit them in a pocket, and you wouldn't have any issues. The Inatec uses its own unique USB 3.0 cord. It also has its own hard drive power switch on the side, which can be toggled on or off. It only needs to be turned on if you're using it as an external hard drive. If you are just using it as a USB hub, you do not have to turn that hard drive power on. If you are using all three ports on the USB hub, you'll want to make sure that you plug in the included DC 5 volt cable that came with it to make sure that you're providing enough power to the enclosure to power the three USB ports. So for the speed test, we decided to go with X bench and the reason why was we tried using speed test but speed test was being very inconsistent uh, we ran the test several times and each time it was giving us very different numbers um, when we ran it with X bench it was coming back very consistent so we decided to stick with that as it seemed to be the best fit for this example the Sabre enclosure is not nearly as easily accessible as the Inatec. You do have to use this little mini screwdriver that is included. Uh, there's two little mini screws that have to be unscrewed and able to have access to the solid state drive that is inside the enclosure. This could be very inconvenient if you're traveling, if you need to just get into the case somehow to get to the drive. This is a little tool that you're gonna to need to carry around with you. The Sabrent does use a modern regular USB 3.0 on both ends of the cable, which is nice because this is a cable that you can use for many different accessories. So it's not an extra cable you would need to carry around specifically just for this device. So looking at the results of our speed test here, we actually see that the Sabrent actually came out on top slightly. It's not very noticeable. I'll be honest with you guys. I have tried to do a couple different things with both of these drives to try and figure out which one is best. And it's really hard to tell. In my opinion, I really like the fact that the Inatec has the extra USB ports. Uh, I don't think extra USB ports are ever a bad thing. It's always nice to have a couple extra options sitting on your desk. So in my opinion, the Inatec is the drive that I will be using, even though it did score, uh, I think by five points lower than the Sabrent. Uh, I don't want to rule out the Sabrent though. The Sabrent does have the awesome option of having that rubber grip on it. So that way you have a little bit of extra protection. So I think whichever option you guys decide to go with, you're going to be in good shape either way. If money's a factor, the Sabrent does run roughly about 10 bucks or so on Amazon. The Inatec does run a little bit more, but in my opinion, you're getting a little bit more for your money. Uh, you'll be spending about $20 or so, and I will have links to both of them in the description below. That wraps it up, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're getting a solid state drive enclosure. If so, which one are you going with? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.